Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog FarmhouseHomeBoon.com and today I'm here in my kitchen with my girls and we are going to show you how to make cinnamon applesauce ornaments. Now we're recording this at a time that we don't normally and that's when the other kids are awake too so it might get a little crazy, we'll see how this works. For this craft, you'll need <laughs> Two cups of cinnamon. I just found this at Aldi and I think it was around 99 cents so I could justify that we're gonna be using this just for a craft project and throwing it away. As well as applesauce. Normally I would get something healthier but since it's just gonna be hanging on the tree I got the original cheap applesauce. Some star cookie cutters which I found these on Amazon and I will link them below to show you where we got them and rolling pins, a bowl, and then you'll also need some string. So let's get started. The first step is going to be to add two cups of cinnamon and two cups of applesauce to our bowl and stir it. So I'll girls, you help with that? Cup. So one container is one cup, which I didn't know, but now I know. So you would need about two containers full. We added two cups of cinnamon, and now we're gonna add two cups of applesauce. I'll try it. You, you would try it? it? Oh, mom, I really wish. Oh boy! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, Judo, you remember what, what happened last time you poured it? Yeah. Oh, mom, I wish I could have that one. Oh, mom, I I think we're gonna have to use our hands a little bit for this. Oh! So to get it all incorporated, you're gonna have to knead it like a dough with your hands. So I'm gonna let the girls do that for a minute. Mine isn't looking too good. After kneading it, we're gonna go ahead and roll it out to, yeah. like you're making real cookies, to about a quarter to a half inch thick. cutter into the dough. And remember, it doesn't have to be a star. Did I do it right, Mom? Ta-da! After greasing the cookie sheet, we're going to take something small. I gotta find what kind of instrument we'll use. Fork! to make a little hole in the top so that we'll Work. have a place to put the string. We decided we'll just use a pencil. Yay! And we're just gonna kind of push a little spot through so that we can string our okay. string through later. And then we're gonna put on our baking sheet and cook them until they're dry. So 250 degrees for about two hours. If your dough seems too wet, make sure to add more cinnamon until it's dry enough that you can work with it and it's not sticking to your countertop surface.
ago. We let these bake for about two hours oh, at 250 see. degrees and they're nice and hard. And we're starting to string through our string through the little holes in the top. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you are able to make these with your kids this season and enjoy it. It's a simple little craft that is fun to put on the tree and just fun for your kids. Did you girls have fun making it? Yes! If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every week on our handmade home, food from scratch, and our simple lifestyle here on Boone Street. Also, shout out, my girls here have a channel that I will link in the description called Hey Crafty, where they make a new video every week of kids crafts. So you can subscribe there if you have kids that like to watch crafty things. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Mm -hmm.